an interesting thing here is this, how do you flirt and not be creepy? Uh, it's so fascinating to me, right? Because the same thing could be said by two different people. And one could be labeled creepy. The other one could be labeled flirty, right? So you would much rather be in the camp that's labeled as a uh, flirty, coquettish than someone that's labeled creepy. So I think the thing you have to understand, right? The first thing you have to sort of do away with is this whole idea of, oh, you got to have game. That is probably some of the worst advice ever. This whole idea of having lines, of thinking that you can you can word your way, you can wordsmith your way to some pussy is pretty crazy. It's pretty, it might work, but the reality is that's not a long-term plan. That's not a long-term goal. It's not going to get you very far. It's not very sustainable, frankly, because you're not real. You're just, you're just pulling stuff and putting it together and thinking this is going to, this is going to make sense, right? It's not coming from the heart. It's not authentic. Um, it's not really who you are. So eventually someone will find out about it and then they're gone. So that's the first part is forget about the game. The other thing you got to keep in mind is don't be ugly. Because although you can't be ugly, but it all depends on how you sort of uh, pitch yourself, right? Um, plenty of ugly dudes that can still uh, get women. So that's not the ultimate uh, sort of deal breaker at all. Um, the other thing is super important too is intentions matter, right? How you go about it really does make a difference. Um, if your intention is just to get to know someone, or there's a genuine curiosity, right? There's something about them or something, right? Then that does take, that does make things easier as well. Like I remember one time I was strolling uh, campus and um, I, I saw a young lady that was posted up like at the balcony overlooking something. And I was like, oh, what are you looking at? She's like, oh, I'm looking at this view. I was like, oh, it's, it's a nice view. So it, that was like a natural thing. I wasn't trying to be creepy. It was just like, I was genuinely curious at what she was looking at. And then from there sparked a conversation that I ended up getting a number going out with her and things escalated from there. As, as you could only imagine, right? Things escalated from there. But you see, it's that, it's that getting out there uh, and serendipitously running into someone is, is the interesting thing is, right? That's how you can be flirty and not be creepy. The other thing, uh, you gotta have witty banter. I mean, you gotta be quick. And the only way to really develop this is really practice. Because the thing is, and, and not to say that I'm perfect at it, right? But this whole idea of, of having wit, of being, of having that banter, of being proper cheeky, as they say um, on the other side of the pond, is that you need practice, right? You need to be able to make mistakes, right? Not everything is going to work out. Right? Context is everything. Not everyone's going to understand what you're trying to say or find the humor in what you're saying. Or find it entertaining, right? Some people, you're not going to rub everybody the right way. So that's the one thing you got to understand that that there is going to be some loss to this, right? So it's not, a, it's not a perfect winning formula. The other thing is too is, aside from the practice, is that sometimes it doesn't even matter what you say, but how you say it. Your delivery, uh, the pauses that you make, the intentions in certain words, uh, things of that nature. Sometimes the faces that you make. Like, like I said, it's not about, I'm not going to tell you this is how you do it because what works for you may, or what works for me may not work for you. So you have to understand is that this is something that you got to find with your sort of the way, the way that you, um, the way that you function, that has to sort of be interweaved into your personality. And that is how you become coquettish. The other thing is too, eye contact, you want to be. You want to have good eye contact. You don't want to be looking at the ground. Uh, you want to maintain a, a, a civil amount of eye contact. You don't want to be creepy about that either. So that's important to have that eye contact. Make sure that you're not super close, but not too far either. Um, and then you kind of close the gaps from there. Uh, the other thing is you need to be able to be efficient with your time. You don't want to be there trying to have a conversation for an hour. You, you get... You get the conversation flowing and then you find a way to figure out what it is that your angle is. In this case, if it's to get a number, if it's to get a date, if it's to, or if the date is on the spot, right? You wanna take it further from there. You hit it off, there's chemistry, you go from there. The other thing is too, is you gotta be able to tell stories. Can you, can you give them some nuggets of wisdom? Can you say some interesting things? Can you, uh, like reference some things that you've 
done or places you've been, all that cultural capital accumulates and really does add in terms of what uh, I think a lot of girls find attractive is that, is finding someone interesting. Don't be boring. That is super important. And I think uh, when you do that, it's 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 easy. Like I've had, and you know, oh, another thing to that I've, I think I've overlooked is if you're like, well, I don't even know where to start. How do I start? An easy one would be like, and this is pretty savage, but it's true. Start with people that mandatorily have to listen to you, right? So in this case, right, the barista, the cashier, uh, the waitress, these people are kind of forced to have to deal with you. And so those are easy target practices. And you're not going to be successful because sometimes you can't differentiate whether they're being nice or they're actually into you. But that's not the point. I think the point is that you're able to practice with them. And then you go from there. You go into strangers and, and, and you go from there. And I think the most natural thing is to find people that you that you find interest in, right? If you're if you're getting started, I'm at a bookstore. Oh, oh, do you have any book agreement? You know, things of that nature. You find people that are into the same things as you, and hopefully from there, it doesn't feel so forced. Because I think what the thing with flirting is that you're not purposely thinking, okay, I'm gonna go and flirt. It just happens. Like for me, I'd like to think that anybody who knows how to flirt can flirt with men or women or or anyone for that matter i'm not just flirting with women i'm flirting i can flirt with guys too i don't have a problem with that i can make someone laugh i can make someone feel good i can compliment someone on their outfits so things of that nature i think if you if you can flirt you can flirt with anyone right and this is irregardless of if you're attracted with attracted to them or not it's more of the feeling that you give them um and so that is important so if you don't know where to start i would say start there start with the people that are forced to have to deal with you and then you go from there and like I said, you tinker, you figure it out, and you work your way through it. It's not perfect. I'm not trying to offer a formula by any means. If anything, it's more just like strategies because of what I think I want you to take away from this is that you should be able to figure out what works for you and plug that in. And like I said, what's flirty for me may not be flirty to you, um, but I, I found that it does kind of come natural to me in, in some ways, right? Like I said, I've said a lot of things that were way out of pocket, but... <laughs> I've learned a lot from those moments. So don't be scared to be a little bit audacious and see what works. Um, you'll make sure not to do those things again if obviously you don't get the reception you're looking for. But anyhow, I hope this helps. Get out there, do some flirting. It's quite fun if you look at it as like a game and you see how far you get. All right, I'll see you in the next one.